So if you teleport and you deconstruct someone and reconstruct someone, is that person you or just a copy of you? Well, this brings us back to the ship of Theseus problem. If you have a ship and one by one you start replacing parts of the ship, you replace the hull, you replace the mast, so on and so forth, over time you have replaced everything, is it still the same ship? I have an answer for you. Does the ship float? If so, does it fucking matter? And I'm not trying to tell a joke here, I mean it. Let's call your ship the Argo, you know, the ship of Theseus. It doesn't really matter what ship you call the Argo. The Argo is just an identity of the ship that Theseus uses to get around. So if you replace all the parts of the Argo, and that ship is still sailing around, and Theseus is still using it, that ship is still the Argo. That's its identity. It's doing what it needs to do. It's sailing around, and Theseus is using it. And on a basic level, like an instinctual level, we understand this. The atoms in our body completely cycle out every 7 to 10 years. Which means we have ship of Theseus ourselves. We will have ship of Theseus ourselves several times before we reach the end of our life. But for all intents and purposes, there is a collection of atoms that is thinking like we do and remembering what we remember and being us, so there you go. It's us. And so if we dismantle ourselves and transmit that data someplace else and rebuild ourselves, that thing that is rebuilt is going to be doing what we're doing now. It's going to have all of our memories, it's going to have all of our thoughts, it's going to be acting like us, so it might as well be us. And then people say, oh, well, what if the teleporter has a malfunction and a new you is built at this other place, but you're still in the original place? Well, then there are two yous. There's going to be one you that felt as if it was deconstructed and reconstructed somewhere else by going through a teleporter, and it's going to have all your memories up to that point. And another you, which felt like it's standing on a teleporter and nothing happened, and it's going to have all your memories up to that point. You essentially cloned yourself, and both of those selves are you. Neither one is more real than the other, neither one is the true you. Is that weird? Sure! But that's what I mean when I say our sense of self, our individuality, is not all that important. We can construct it, we can create copies of ourselves. And they will have a consciousness similar to our original consciousness. They will think that they are us as much as we think that we are us. And neither is the real us, they're just both us at this point. Because the us that's us is a pattern, and we recreated that pattern. So yeah, the you that steps on a teleportation pad and that is deconstructed is you. The you that gets reconstructed is also you. And in the teleportation error experiment, both of them are you.